I'm Andre Wasty. I'm a school psychologist at Salina City Schools, and this is my fifth year in the profession. Hi, my name is Brett Dorston. Uh, I'm a school psychologist here at Salina City Schools. This is my third year working in the school district. Um, I've been a school psychologist now for 10 years. As a school psychologist here, uh, my main responsibility is completing school-based evaluations to determine if students would be eligible or not for special education services. Um, so I do a lot of different evaluations and different testing to kind of just get a better look, uh, a better look of the child and then to give suggestions to the teachers moving forward to assist in student progress. So when we have a request for testing and we determine that it's necessary to complete an evaluation, we do an initial evaluation. Um, and then if a student is eligible for special education services, they have a reevaluation completed every three years. Once a student is identified through that initial evaluation process, um, we do then um, complete evaluations at least um, every three years. Um, so within that three year cycle, we then um, gather that student's um, data um, to determine if they continue to uh, meet the eligibility requirements for special education. Um, if they do meet that um, criteria um, through the evaluation process, we do um, complete assessments to determine what a student's educational needs are. Um, so based on that evaluation, we then can create an individualized education program or what the world um, probably knows as an IEP. So through the IEP, um, then they can provide um, services, whether that's in a small group or in a larger group, or provide those therapies, and that's listed in the IEP, and the IEP is um, used to address all those needs that are um, documented within that evaluation team report. So when I think about an IEP, I think of it as a positive thing for a student. Um, every student is unique in what they learn and how they learn. Um, every student has strengths and weaknesses, so it's whatever we need to do for that student and how we need to move them forward. That's that specific plan for them. Um, and that's why that IEP is so unique and, and, and is necessary for a, for a student, a special ed student. So as a school psychologist, uh, we do work a lot with, with special education students, but there's a lot, a lot, a lot of our jobs is, is involved in the regular education environment. Um, we work as part of the intervention assistance team, which is a group of regular ed teachers and administrators that assist uh, regular ed students in finding the right interventions that work for them and finding ways to document those interventions and, and just track student progress um, in the regular, ed, reg, regular education environment. Um, we also consult with teachers and just kind of anything that we can do to support um, any student is, 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 is part of our job as well.